really thinking about what is this medium of the web, or digital, really, including apps, it kind of doesn't matter. Like, what is this medium? Um, and there are characteristics to it that have surprised us, and it keeps changing, and we're like, wow, we didn't realize that it would have 147 different sizes of screen, or, you know, or actually it's probably like 600, 800, 8,000, you know, 1,000 different sizes of screen. Like, those are important characteristics. So, um, I think that rather than fighting it and expecting it to be something different and wishing it wasn't the way that it is, we, it's our role to really understand it and to, and to use it and to like work with it. The same way if you had a piece of wood that you know, you're trying to carve and it's doing something that you don't want it to do, well, then you've got to go with that. You've got to figure out how to make what you want out of the thing that you have. And one of the, the other characteristics, another characteristic of it is it's, there's a whole bunch of different browsers. There are a whole bunch of different browsers. Not only do you have all these different names of browsers, but you've also got all the different versions of each of those browsers. And then, and then you've got the different devices and the different operating systems that they're on. I mean, the person who's using Firefox on an old version of Windows using an old monitor is different than the person who's using Firefox on a Mac. So this idea that desktop, there's a unified desktop is slightly different. It, you know, it's, it's always different and it's always going to be different. So um, I really think it's important as designers to understand what can be controlled and what isn't going to be controlled. You're, you're dancing with this creature and you want to create the best design that you can that's going to work with that creature and, and create a great experience for your user. If you're a developer, you want to you know, make that creature really happy and make that creature satisfied and fast and, and, and not fight it. And there's nothing wrong with, I mean, it's amazing. The web is amazing because it works on a gazillion different devices and it's, I mean, what other, if you, what other, if you make a program for, you know, Mac System 8 in whatever year that was, 1996, like, that, you threw that out. No one is using that software today. But if you made a website in 1996, you can still visit it at a URL. I mean, there's something genius about the way that the web is architected. And I think there's something very important to understand as when you're making a website that it really, it's got to work in every browser. It's got to work in the browsers that you've never heard of, on devices you've never heard of. Maybe, you know, have you tested your latest website on a game console browser? You know, do you realize one of the most popular browsers in the world is the UC browser? Do you know what the UC browser is? Like, if you do your code in the right way, if you build it in a way that's going to work in every browser, then you don't, it's fine that you don't know about the device. It's fine you never heard of game console browsers. It's fine if you don't know what the UC browser is because it's going to work because you built your code the right way. You know, keep figuring out what it must be like to be somebody else. And sometimes that means open up another browser or open up another device to test. Sometimes that means, you know, going and learning from somebody, learning about a screen reader. What is it like to have a screen reader? What's, what's it like to surf the web using a screen reader? Um, that kind of empathy and that kind of willingness to learn and that willingness to get outside of yourself is just going to make your work better and better and better.